bring the song that is my casket. Oh, do good at the spender. My genre of music is basically Afrofusion. Uh, I do R&B, a fusion of uh, Afro music with a blend of different sounds. I also do pop, I do jazz, uh, but uh, I do Afrofusion mostly. <laughs> Every song actually has a meaning to me. When I did ODG, ODG was an inspiration actually from the producer. He actually had like an idea, I heard the idea and then built on the idea. And I actually have other songs. Breakfast was actually an experience, previous experience. Do you understand? I actually, I actually chopped the breakfast. But I told myself that I would never chop breakfast again. So every song actually connects with me based on actually sometimes the um, situation I'm in, and sometimes I like to storytell, which is very, very important as, in, as a creative. Um, you don't put all your inspiration in one particular basket. You don't think in the same pattern when you're creating music. At least for me, that's what I think also. I'm bringing the whole definition of LT skills, the brand itself. You guys should actually expect something totally different. The festival is, is actually a festival that celebrates, you know, entertainment as a whole. Yes, and it celebrates the culture as a whole also. So it's important for me to actually show that, okay, while we're celebrating the culture, let's actually amplify the presentation of the culture on this stage as an art itself. So LT Skills is all about the representation of that art and then the proper um, presentation of that art in a very synchronized and choreographed format. So yes, you guys should actually expect something different and amplified. And it's going to be an Odogu vibe, you're supposed to know the matter now. <laughs> I've, been, I've been doing this music thing for over 10 years and uh, I actually used to overthink about what I think my fans might want to recognize me for. But instead I asked myself, you know what, just do you. Anything that you give them, as long as it is presentable, it's smart, it is danceable, it is enjoyable, and then it makes sense, people would actually love it. And that's what I've been doing, and that's what I'll keep doing. I started as a dancer, and as a dancer, I learned the importance of improvising in action. And I think that actually helped me understand how best to present myself during those errors while performing as an artist. Uh, most experienced dancers who knows this, when you actually make a mistake in your performance, in your dance, you don't have time to think. When you are singing and you make a mistake in your lyrics, you don't have time to think about, oh, I, I, what, what should I have said? What should I have? No, you move forward. And the thing that, and the advantage I have as, a, as an artist, as a, full stage controller is that I have to make sure that I'm in control even during errors. My choreographer is another person that is always watching me 247 and is also like, oh my God, see, this performance will do, it makes sense, but you need to work on your energy, you need to work on your presentation, you need to, you need to tone down as much energy that you express when you're actually doing the GBGB sound or when you're actually singing at a particular note. So all those things actually what helps me and big shout out to my choreographer Chidistan and my team and dancers also because they are actually amazing. A big shout out to experience because who is he? <laughs> AIT has always contributed to everything, okay, in pertaining to entertainment, news, and the likes. The fact that I'm actually able to actually, you know, express my music through the same channel that I've been, I grew up watching, and the fact that they are also promoting the culture, and I'm part of the culture, and I'm part of expressing the culture, is a joy that I can't, I can't, you know, I can't express enough of it. I want Elton Skills performance to be a performance to never be forgotten at that particular event at the AIT Music Festival. The impact that they've had in, in the culture in Nigeria as a whole, as at, at large, has been something that actually helped a whole lot of us understand well, not just what's going on in the country, but actually pursue how best to actually progress in life to actually get that particular platform to recognize that we are expressing this art also, that we are doing this thing. The fact that 
the music festival is coming and people are actually going to be there. It shows that they are, they are actually creating um, hope for young artists who actually see themselves as people who, are, who aspire to actually be big one day. It's not just about the festival. It's about the fact that the festival represents, you know, a, a hope for certain people who sees artists and say, I want to be like this. I want to perform like this. I want to sing like this. I want to be on this platform one day. So big shout out to AIT for always turning up, for always representing. Love you guys, man. What's up, guys? The Fever Boy LT Skills. And guess what? I'll be performing live at the AIT Music Pulse Festival on the 11th of April. And it's happening in the Good Beach. I'll be there. Make sure you get a ticket. Come on, vibe. Because you know, so we don't know the waiting. We don't know the chop breakfast. Because LT says so. Keep watching the AIT. Because LT says so. Rah!